Tonight at 5, we start with breaking news. Two people have been arrested in connection to a group chat surfacing containing racist messages. And these uh, messages are from teenagers on Bishop John Snyder High School's baseball team. The school's principal confirmed yesterday the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating. On your side, Cheyenne Cole is tracking this story for us. She joins us live tonight. And Cheyenne, what started as a local conversation has now gotten national exposure. That's right, Jeannie. Former professional baseball player and coach Corey Wimberly posted the messages to Instagram over the weekend, and he says his nephew was the target of these racist texts. We're going to show you. Take a look at these. One message reads, when's white history month? And you can't use any of the words in the English dictionary. Sorry, white people made them. Bishop Snyder principal David Yazdia told me the district is aware of the photos and Corey Wimberly's post. He says, quote, I am working with JSO now to investigate the matter fully. While the investigation is ongoing, I cannot comment further at this time. Wimberly's family met with school administration Monday and this morning, Wimberly told me the school is taking immediate action and we are happy for that. We would also like to see some updates to the school's policies on racism and inappropriate school behaviors. Tonight at 6, you'll hear what one local civil rights activist is saying about these messages. For now, reporting in Jacksonville Live, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.